Indrani Mukherjee. This video compresses information gathered from Wikipedia in video format. Studies prove that reading while listening improves comprehension, increases speed as well as expands vocabulary and enhances fluency. Video sections, abstract, career, awards, controversies, references. Give your feedback on the comment section. Support the channel by subscribing and liking the video. Thanks. Abstract. Indrani Mukherjee is an Indian-born British former HR consultant and media executive. She was the wife of Peter Mukherjee, a retired Indian television executive. In 2007 she co-founded INX Media with her ex-husband, where she took on the role of CEO. In 2009 she resigned from the company and later sold her stake in it. In August 2015, she was arrested by Mumbai police and charged as the main accused in the alleged murder of her daughter, Sheena Bora, Korea. In 1996 Indrani founded INX Services Private Limited as a recruitment company in Kolkata. In 2001 Indrani moved to Mumbai where her recruitment firm considered Reliance Industries as her most important client. The firm also handled recruitment for Star India. In 2005, the firm formed a partnership with Switzerland-based Global Executive Search Specialist, IMD International Search Group, which appointed Indrani as its regional director, Asia Pacific. In December 2006 Peter and Indrani Mukherjee became promoters of the INX Group which consisted of human resources companies INX Services and INX Executive Search, and media companies INX Media and INX News. Andrani was appointed chairperson of INX Group. Peter and Andrani Mukherjee held a 50% stake in INX Media. The other half was held by private equity firms for a total funding of $170 million. Tomasek Holdings picked up 19% equity via Dunearn Investments. New Silk Route held 20%. New Vernon Private Equity Fund owned 6.31% while Indian entities Kotak Mahindra and SREI Group held 4.69% between them this year. INX News was incorporated on of December 2006 with an authorized capital of 7.5 crore divided into 75 lakh, 7.5 million, shares of 10 each. INX Media took a 26% stake in INX News since Government of India regulations did not permit foreign direct investment in Indian news media beyond that limit at that time. IM Media, a corporate entity claimed to be 99% owned by Andrani Mukherjee through her holding company Andrani. Incon Private Limited held the majority 51% stake in INX News Indrani Mukherjee personally held a 17% stake. Peter Mukherjee, a foreign national, could not claim ownership in INX News. In March 2007 Versang V, hired a CEO of INX News, was given a 16% stake as sweat equity. Peter Mukherjee, bound by a non-compete clause from his previous employer, became chairman of the human resources company INX Services Private Limited in January 2007. In August 2007, Peter joined INX Media as chairman and chief strategy officer. In November 2007 Indrani became the CEO of INX Media. At INX Media, Peter looked after advertisement, finance, distribution and revenues while Indrani was in charge of content human resources and marketing. In the first phase of operations, INX Media launched the Hindi General Entertainment Channel 9X and the Hindi Youth Music Channel 9XM. In November 2007, News X, an English news channel, launched in March 2008. In its first year of operations, the INX Group spent almost the entire corpus it had raised from foreign investors. Employees suspected that vendors were encouraged to present inflated invoices so that the Mukherjee's could earn kickbacks. By September 2008, 
All the investors in INX Media were looking to sell some part of their stake to raise funding for the second phase of expansion. They wanted $150 million to launch three regional channels, three regional music channels and three city-specific news channels. When the global financial crisis of 200,708 hit the Indian media industry, advertisers could not pay their dues and INX Media in turn could not pay its vendors. Employees suspected that TRP ratings of the general entertainment channel 9X were being added to those of News X in order to present a rosy picture to the investors. An audit conducted by Tamasek Holdings brought up suspicions that the Mukherjee's had siphoned off 160 crore, 1.6 billion, from the company. In January 2009, the Mukherjee sold INX Media and its loss-making channel News X to Indie Media Network. A partnership between the Naidunia promoter and CEO Vinay Chailani and former Business World editor Jahangir S. Posha. By March 2009, INX Media had accumulated losses of 800 crore rupees and was in debt to the tune of Rs. 100 crore. Tamasek Holdings and Kotak Mahindra were looking to exit, with the company running out of cash and outstanding payments to creditors mounting. The Mukherjeeus resigned from their management positions. In March 2009 Andrani left, with Peter following a month later. By April 2010, the Mukherjeeus had sold their stake in the company. In May 2011, the Mukherjeeus resigned from their position on the board of directors of the company. Awards In November 2008, the Wall Street Journal named Indrani as one of 50 women to watch. Uta Bhatia Mahasing, an organization that aims to promote the North Indian community in the country, awarded Indrani Mukherjee with the title of Uta Ratna for her outstanding work in the art, media and broadcasting sector. Controversies Starting from mid-2007 Indrani Mukherjee, as the chairperson of INX News, found herself in conflict with Versang V the CEO over control of the organization. On January 23, 2008 News X announced that as a consequence Ver Sangbi would resign on January 29, 2008. On the evening of January 31, 2008 Indrani Mukherjee fired five television journalists at News X without prior notice or explanation. Executive Editor Avaruk Sen, Head of Domestic News Rajesh Sundaram, Editorial Advisor Nick Pollard, Consultant Aaron Roy Chowdhury, and news anchor Kailash Menon, protesting against this unprofessional conduct. A further nine television journalists resigned, among them news coordinator Prakash Patra and Narendra Nag. The following day, February 1, 2008, a group of former NewsX employees took their grievances to Priya Ranjandas Munsi then Minister of Information and Broadcasting in the Government of India. Dasman Shi conveyed their concern over dubious sources of funding at INX Media to P. Chidambaram, then Minister of Finance in the Government of India. Chidambaram in turn requested the Serious Fraud Investigation Office, SFIO, to look into the allegations of financial impropriety. In February 2008 Rajesh Sundaram and Avaruk Sen filed legal notices against NewsX seeking damages over their unfair dismissal. By September 15, 2008 Avaruk Sen had received a settlement worth 2 crore paid out over four equal monthly installments. In the weeks following the departure of Versang V, there was a mass exodus of talent from NewsX leaving it unable to meet its commitment to jittery investors of the launch of a news channel by March 31, 2008. The Mukherjee started exploring an exit route from INX Media and ultimately sold it to Indie Media Network, partly owned by Naidunia promoter and CEO Vinay Chailani. According to a report filed by the Serious Fraud Investigation Office, SFIO, in April 2013 based on its investigation into the Nira radio tapes. IM Media, the majority stakeholder in INX News, 
was a front for Mukesh Ambani's Reliance Industries Limited, RIL. As per SFIO, Chinese Nidunia was also indirectly owned by Mukesh Ambani, thus making IM Media and Nidunia related companies. On January 7, 2009 shares in INX Media, previously valued at 208.24, were sold to Nidunia for just 10 each. The SFIO report recommended charges be filed for causing wrongful losses to the ordinary shareholders of RIL under Indian Penal Code Sections 120b. Conspiracy. 415. Cheating. 418. Cheating with knowledge that wrongful loss may ensue to person whose interest defender is bound to protect. And 420. Cheating and dishonestly inducing delivery of property. In 2010, the Enforcement Directorate, a financial crime fighting agency, registered a case under Foreign Exchange Management Act, FEMA, for diverting foreign direct investment by three Mauritius based companies in INX Media to its step down subsidiaries without prior approval of the Foreign Investment Promotion Board, FIPB. The three companies named were New Vernon Private Equity Limited, New Silk Route, NSR, P. Mauritius, and Dunearn Investment, Mauritius. In 2013 the investigation was halted without explanation. In May 2014 the investigative wing of the Central Board of Direct Taxes compiled a tax history of the INX Group and suggested that the Mukherjeeas had launched 275.5 crore, 2.755 billion via Mauritius into eight INX Group subsidiary companies between 2007 and 2008. In September 2015 the Mumbai Office of the Enforcement Directorate indicated that it would reopen the 2010 FEMA case under the Prevention of Money Laundering Act. 2002. On 25 August 2015 Indrani Mukherjee was arrested by Mumbai police in connection with the alleged murder of her daughter, Sheena Bora, in 2012. She was charged under Sections 302, 201 and 34 of the Indian Penal Code. In September 2015 the Central Bureau of Investigation, CBI, took over the case. In November 2015 the CBI filed charges against Indrani under the Indian Penal Code Sections 302. Murder, 201 causing disappearance of evidence, 34, criminal conspiracy, 420, cheating and forgery, 364, kidnapping, and 120b, conspiracy. Later that month CBI officials contended that Peter and Indrani Mukherjee had siphoned off money from INX Media and parked it in an offshore bank account in Sheena Bora's name. The CBI has speculated that this financial angle might provide a motive for Sheena Bora's murder. Since September 2015 Andrani has been held in judicial custody at a women's only prison in Baikala Jail, Mumbai. While in custody, Indrani Mukherjee informed a trial court in Mumbai on December 20, 2016 that she had translated 700 verses of the Bhagavad Gita into English from Sanskrit. She had sought permission from a CBI court in Mumbai to publish them as year. On June 26, 2017, following a jail inmate's death due to alleged torture by jail officials, Indrani and 200 other prisoners in Baikala Women's Prison were booked for rioting. The jail officials accused of murdering the inmate are currently being tried in a fast-track court. Shyam Varai one of the accused who turned an approver in the Sheena Bora murder case, told the CBI court that he was not aware that after becoming the key witness in the case he would be entitled to an acquittal. Rai, a former driver of Indrani Mukherjee, turned approver in September 2015 when he moved an application before the Metropolitan Magistrate, in which he claimed he wanted to tell the truth. He however, remembers little about the manner in which his application was moved. During his cross-examination by defense lawyers, Rai failed to confirm the contents of his application before the court as they were in English, a language he didn't read, write, speak or understand. The only thing he could confirm was his signature in Hindi.
Rai, who was deposing in the case a few days ago, had also told the CBI court that he feared for his life after which he was provided protection. Inside the jail, an additional security for his travels to the court. The murder came to light in 2015 when he was caught by police while trying to dispose of a country-made pistol and bullets. Three years after Bora's murder, this was his third attempt at getting rid of the parcel, which was allegedly given by Mukherjee. The police caught me and found the weapon, Rai said, adding that during the interrogation he told them about Sheena Bora's killing. He confessed about the crime before a magistrate later as he was remorseful. Rai said, after his statement, the police arrested Indrani Mukherjee, Sanjeev Kanna and Shyam Varayan recovered the remains of Sheena Bora's body from a jungle in Raigad district. Peter Mukherjee was arrested later. According to the CBI, financial dispute was the reason for Indrani Mukherjee to hatch the conspiracy. Sheena Bora was also in a relationship with Peter Mukherjee's son from earlier marriage, Rahul, which Indrani Mukherjee disapproved of.